so I didn't go to the gym this morning. I wasn't feeling it. Bob did. Um, while he was gone, I did some chores. And I got today's daily drawing done. And I'm going to do the last few pages in my Art for Therapy journal. I pulled out a couple of skeins of Red Heart all-in-one granny square yarn to work on in the car on the way to the lecture this afternoon. And, um, yeah, I think that's it. Other than... Um, doing a couple chores, which I've done already, um, and or we did last night. Um, it's a pretty relaxing, chill day. Not mad at that. Um, and uh, yeah. All right. Let's get this journal done, and I'll be back. That's done. We can let it dry, take the yarn balls downstairs. Yeah, and be done for now. I'll be back. We are off. Uh, we're gonna drop off our ballots because we have uh, we have voted. Um, we are going to um, get gas and then we're gonna go see Josh Gates. Now Josh Gates um, get is the host. Feet. Turn right on He's the host of Expedition X and Expedition Unknown. Mm -hmm. If you watch those kind of shows on TV, it's so pretty on interesting. The travel Channel or Disney uh, or uh, Discovery? Dis Tra Discovery or Travel? One, One of them or both. Or both. Anyway, so we're going to go see him at some sort of lecture thing. Don't know anything about it more than that, but we'll find out. We have never been to something like this before, so yeah. we'll see. All right, I'll be All back. Right. I did bring some Red Heart All in One Granny School. Uh, Guerre yarn and uh, a couple of crochet hooks with me to crochet on the road because we have to drive an hour and a half or so each way to get to the lecture. So, um, yeah, I need something to keep me busy because, you know. Hello, everybody. It is Monday, October 28th. It is already 3.28 p.m. I've gotten absolutely nothing done. <laughs> So unexpected babysitting today for a good chunk of the day because Junior was feeling better and Mommy and Daddy needed to catch up on a bunch of stuff. Um, that meant that I got nothing pretty much else done today. And now I'm exhausted from babysitting and last night because um, by the time we got home and got to bed, it was after midnight. So yeah, I'm tired. I'm, ha I'm actually having some more coffee right now. I do have a couple of things, including editing the vlog. I should do sometime before Wednesday morning. I might just give myself a break today and try to get it done tomorrow uh, before or after babysitting. So we'll see. Um, all right. That's it for the minute. I'll be back. Hey, guys. It is Thursday. I almost said Friday. Um, it is just about lunchtime. I have been up for a while because I had counseling early this morning. Um, I also uh, went out and ran a couple errands. Yes, I'm wearing one of my new sweaters because um, it's cold. Yay! Um, went to Dollar Tree and picked up some eyeglass cases to hang on my chain of bags. Um, I made something up yesterday, which is okay, but these will work better. And I took a black one and drew moon and stars on it. I just used a Posca pen. It's probably not permanent, but that's fine. Um, this will be for my night driving glasses. I took this one and you can't see it super well, but sun for sunglasses. And I took a purple one and I put words on it for reading glasses. So they're drying. Um, I also have out my daily drawing stuff, some writing stuff, my therapy homework. Um, and I've put out um, some art for therapy stuff right here. 
journals are up here. Made it so it's more convenient to do that, um, which I will do to sometime today. And yeah, Bob is off at the office at the moment. I think we're going to the gym later, maybe? I, I don't know. But I'm gonna go make a sandwich. Uh, how honest do I want to be? Yeah, and eat something besides jelly beans. <laughs> all right, I'll be back. So I did all of the October drawings, including tomorrow since it's Halloween, and we're going to be busy probably passing out candy for the couple of kids that we get. Um, I went ahead and finished that daily drawing book already, and I already have the one for November ready to go. I did my daily writing, which I've been doing for a while, and I also did a um, art therapy journal page. So, uh, the idea behind these pages is that you, um, I'm gonna put some clips here from last week where I was prepping a new journal, not this one, um, with ink splatters. So I go through these journals with whatever's handy. Sometimes it's coffee, sometimes it's watered down paint. Um, this particular one I was working in looks like that. Um, and I get everything wet and colored. And then when I'm feeling like I need to do art for therapy, which I need to do more than I've been doing, to be fair, I should probably do it at least a couple times a week, if not more than that. So we're gonna be working on that. Um, I just open a page at random and I don't think about it and I create whatever I see on the page, whatever I'm feeling, and I use words to emphasize that. I have some word stickers uh, printed on labels that I have created and I've given to my, pa sorry, my patrons and supporters. And um, yeah, so that's what I did. So I did that and then I did some writing. Um, and I have my therapy homework there because I have to do more of that. Hmm. Yeah. All right. Um, the out little oxalotl is so cute. All done. Pretty easy. Uh, the, um, link for these is, was included in last week's vlog. So go check that out. Anyway, I'm going to go grab a snack and some more water. We might be going to the gym later, which means I'm not going like this. I'll have to change my clothes. Um, at least take the sweater off and put different pants on because that won't work. All right. But yeah, I am going to go get a snack and some more water and I'll be back. Good morning, everybody. It is Thursday morning October 31st it's about 9 30 junior will be here at any time um I woke up again with my neck bothering me which is weird hi good morning doesn't usually bother me this many times it's close together so it's a little odd but anyway uh, it is what it is, right? So much mail. There we go. So I've been trying to get a few chores done before Junior gets here. But I have also been taking it easy on myself and I took some Tylenol and stuff like that. So that's fine. All right. I'm going to go see what else I can get done before he gets here and I'll be hey back. Guys. I would say good morning, only it's already almost four o'clock. <laughs> it is Friday, November 1st. Last night was Halloween and after Junior went home, um, we didn't get that many trick-or-treaters, but we did get a few. The leftover candy, as usual, will go um, to work with um, Bob on Wednesday when he goes into the office and uh, yeah, not stick around the house. Anyway, I went out and ran some errands this morning because tonight's family dinner night, so I took care of some stuff. And then I am making another amigurumi for this time one requested by Mr. Bob. Um, it is politically oriented or themed, themed? I'm not, so I'm not gonna show it on camera, but it is turning out really cute. There are a lot of really great patterns on Etsy for all different kinds of amigurumi. 
And um, so if you want a pattern for something, most of the patterns I have been doing are from there. I did yesterday, besides the pattern for Mr. Bob, download one for a really cute little reindeer and a... What did I... How come I've already forgotten? Reindeer, a cute little turkey, and these cute little mushroom creatures. Um, re really super cute. I'll put the links for them down below. I'm hoping to make a few of the turkeys before Thanksgiving dinner. That would be great. So anyway, um, I usually use a three-weight DK yarn, my inexpensive acrylic for the amigurumi. Um, I am, between the deer and the turkey, is going to be using a lot of brown. I don't have enough brown. But I did find, where is it? I think this will work. It says it's a four weight, but it seems like a pretty thin four weight. Um, it's a Karen Simply Soft. So we'll see. Um, when I was out this morning, um, I had to get some more safety eyes. So yeah, anyway, the little, little small ones because I'm using a lot of nine and 10 millimeter eyes. Um, I have a few random pieces I need either throw away, put away. <laughs> I had a belt in my closet that was not worn very much for a really long time. Um, but um, the um, I did I did used to wear it a lot, but the vinyl, it wasn't leather. It was like metal and vinyl. Um, and the vinyl was just peeling and gross. So I'm like, you know what? I just took it apart. It wasn't even, I wasn't going to donate it. Took it apart, took all the metal pieces off. Um, I even took these off, which were like riveted to some of the vinyl. And I've got the belt buckle. I don't know what I'm going to do with them, but I'll, I'll do something with them. Um, I have just random pieces of stuff like that on my table um, that I have to take care of at some point. But things have been a little busy. I won't even say crazy because it hasn't been. It's been busy. I've had some, as you know, mental health challenges. And, you know, I just want to sit in a corner with my crochet hook and I don't want to do anything. It's just, you know, I'm working on it. All right. That's it for the minute. I am going to sit and relax for a minute before I have to get ready for family dinner night and set out the charcuterie and all of that stuff. We're not cooking. All I have to do is put out the charcuterie. We're ordering pizza, which I have to do in about a half an hour. So I've been texting back and forth with the daughter to get it straight what everybody wants. And I will, all, I will make a salad though, because I'm gonna have salad and my son-in-law's mother will have salad. So anyway. Oh, just, you know, stuff to do. Tomorrow should be a pretty chill day. I can finish the current amigurumi I'm working on and start on another one. Um, we do need to go to the grocery store and Costco at some point. And I got to pick my dad up at the airport on Sunday. Yeah. Anyway. And I just got a on a Saturday morning, 11.32 a.m. We are out running some errands before lunch. And I'm in one of my homemade outfits with my chain of bags. But anyway, we're just trying to get some stuff done. It's a chill day today. Uh, we'll go home later and putter around the house. We don't have any big plans for the day, which is fine. All right, I'll be back. I haven't been great lately at vlogging or creating or anything. I said in a past vlog recently, I've been struggling with some mental health issues, depression, anxiety, that sort of thing. Um, and I'm not saying that to like make y'all feel sorry for me or just know that if you're also struggling, you are so not alone. Um, it's just tough and it's tough to get motivated when part of your brain just wants to, and I'm sorry, I'm moving around a lot. I'm trying to sort things out so I can sit down, 
It's tough to get things done when part of your brain just wants to sit in a corner under a blanket and hide. So there's that. I've been working on, I'm gonna put you down right here. Here we go. Some amigurumi today, the political one for my husband that I'm not gonna, anyway. I have used up almost all the fiber fill in the little bag I have downstairs. This is all I have left. So I'm gonna probably need to buy more soon. Because, yeah, that's a lot, but it's probably not going to go far. I tend to put some of it in a little Ziploc bag, but you can see my bag. <laughs> my, bag is, my bag is not holding up well. <laughs> but I put, I just stuck this, and then I take that down and put it in my yarn bag. That way I'm not up here every five minutes looking for fiber fill, and I'm also not carrying a giant bag around with me because nobody wants that. Anyway, we haven't got a lot done today once we went and did some errands, which is fine. I mean, we didn't really have anything planned for today. We kind of just wanted to take it easy. Both of us did, not just me. Um, so we went and just did errands, but we didn't have to like go grocery shopping at the local shops. So we went down to Wilsonville and McMinnville and um, went for a drive and stopped at our favorite little coffee shop down that way, Gold Rush Coffee. And if you are down that way, go check them out. They got a really great lavender white chocolate mocha. It's so good, you guys. Anyway, I got some... Oh, they're there. I got some of these. Um, that's nice that they're already not completely attached. These are uh, bag frames. What are they called? They're like a squeezy. And you make the bag and then you, usually you take a pin out, you slide this in, close it up, and put the other pin, put the pin back in. But they didn't put the, all the pins in yet, which is great because that taking it out is like half the battle. Anyway, those came in today, <clears throat> along with some coffee um, after our trip to Canada not long ago. I am a huge Tim Hortons fan, you guys. I love my coffee, but Tim Hortons is really good. Anyway, I can't wait to go back. So I've got that. I got some fabric paint for the project I'm working on. And future um, I'm a groomie because every now and then it wants me to like blush the cheeks or something. And I'd rather not do it with like makeup or chalk pastels because it's going to rub off. I would like something that's more permanent. So we're going to try um, fabric paint, which theoretically you can use. Um, I've got some crochet scraps around um, swatches and stuff. So we'll try it on one of those before we actually do it on the Amigurumi. Anyway, what else? I have to catch up on my journaling because I haven't done that. Oh, there we go. Okay. This one can go back up. Uh oh, well oh, here. You know, you put things away in a safe place, and then God forbid if I ever remember where the safe place actually is. Jesus. Oh. Anyway, that's, uh, that goes up there. Um, that's right about Halloween. So for those that don't know, for a while now, I just write like one thing a day about each day. If I have, we've gone out for Chinese food or done something, I put the tickets in here. Um, and I've been, I've been doing this for quite a, for quite a while now. I'm using up, it started out as a way to just use up some of my sticker stash and stuff, but I actually kind of like doing it. So, uh, and I have not done November drawings yet. So let's get that done and I'll be right back.
the reading glasses on at some point because I can't read the little words without them. Anyway, that's all done now. Yay for me. And even when I'm not mentally or physically feeling well, I try to still do these. Even if I don't do them every day, I do try to catch up at some point. I am still doing them on the semi-regular. Um, and I'm not going to stop anytime soon. Uh, when I have time, I will continue to work on that. And we will get back to painting and stuff at some point as much as we can. I won't be giving up sewing and needlework anytime soon because I forgot how much I like it. Um, by the way, uh, where's the thing? Where's the thing? This, this thing. I am wearing a homemade outfit today. see um, might have to get back pretty far but I am wearing that I made this I've made the pants I've got a long sleeve shirt on underneath it and I did have my new uh, chain of bags on that I made recently I'll put a picture here and I've been wearing this all day super comfortable I wore it with some funky socks and my brown boots and you know I'm gonna just be doing what makes me happy and that's all I can do so anyway I have more mental health homework to do which I will do next week next week but it's been a good week um, time with the grandson always time well spent um, love that love that kid I just found an amigurumi ball of yarn in a basket it doesn't belong I will be making some amigurumi turkeys um, for Thanksgiving. I will be working on those next. And as I am working on them, if you all want me to, I'm trying to stuff yarn up in the basket, I will share the Etsy pattern. It's not my pattern. I'll put the Etsy pattern in the video description here. And when I do start making it, I'll share it again. I'm going to try to make a few of them because I want like minimum one to each family that's coming for Thanksgiving. Now we're not having a big Thanksgiving. Um, I think it's just us and the kids, maybe my dad, but I do think it would be funny to make them. And Bob and I both think it would be hilarious to not only make them, but put little tags around their neck saying, um, don't eat me, I don't taste good. I am identifying as broccoli this week um <laughs> uh things like that so we'll come up with some really cute funny ones if you guys have any suggestions please leave them down below i'd love to hear them um so that'll be my next project it shouldn't take me more than a couple of days to do so um it's not a complicated pattern but anyway if you all want to do it with me let me know um that's it for this week you know what you guys um before I do the usual spiel, take care of yourselves mentally, physically, do what you have to do to be happy, to have good energy in your life and cut all the negativity out and just be yourself. I say that as someone who herself struggles constantly, constantly. Um, so if I can at least try, so can you. Uh, please check out the video description for relevant links, um, ways to support the free content here on YouTube. Um, I do have a Facebook group, which I constantly forget to mention anymore. I've had it for a really long time. Um, there's 3,000 members, 2,000 members, I don't even know. Um, I do post in there, not every day anymore, but I do post in there about once a week. Um, but I would love it if you join. Uh, the link is in my link tree list of links, which is down below. Um, along with my um, link to Art Foamies, even if you don't buy my designs or Rubber Moon Stamps, two different companies. Even if you don't buy my designs, go support them. They're, they're mom and pop companies and go support them. They deserve it. Um, check out the description for relevant links. I do have a Patreon if you want to join. Um, we are doing for November and it posted... Today's the second, so it posted yesterday. We are going to be working on art for therapy more this month, which I've already talked about this week. And I did post some label stickers for download over there for them. And with the holidays coming up, I'm not the only one that's going to be struggling. So um, let's get through it together. Uh, I love you all immensely. Go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. And I will see you next week. Hopefully. <laughs> God, could my hair be any crazier? 
Are we sure I'm not related to Einstein? Holy cow. All right, I'll be back next week. Bye, guys.